Hello students, welcome to this lesson on aquatic biomes. In the previous successive classes, we have studied terrestrial biomes like tropical rainforest, temperate forest and grassland, savanna grassland, desert, taiga and tundra biomes. In this moment, we will study aquatic biomes step wisely. Aquatic biomes are subdivided into two main types based on their salt content. This can be marine biomes and freshwater biomes. Let us see freshwater biomes. Freshwater biomes are one of aquatic biomes that have less salt content. It consists of ponds, lakes, rivers, streams and wetlands. When we see lakes and ponds, lakes and ponds are inland bodies of standing or slowly moving water. The temperature of ponds and lakes varies seasonally. In summer, the temperature ranges from 4 degrees Celsius near the bottom to 22 degrees Celsius near the top of the lakes. In winter, the bottom temperature can be 4 degrees Celsius and the top is 0 degrees Celsius. Lakes and ponds have low salt concentration. When we see the duration of existence, many ponds are seasonal and only last a couple of months during particular time of the year. But lakes may exist hundreds of years or more. Lakes and ponds are divided into three main areas or zones which are determined by dips and distance from the shorelines. The first layers of ponds or lakes is littoral zone. Littoral zone is the area near the top of the shore. This zone is the warmest since it is shallow and absorb more of the sun's energy. Littoral zone sustain high diverse community of organisms which include algae, rooted and floating aquatic plants, snails, insects, crustaceans, fishes, and amphibians. The second layers or zones of ponds or lakes is limnetic zone or sometimes we call it open water zone or photic zone. This zone is the area near the surface that is surrounded by littoral zone. Limnetic or photic zone is warm since it is heated by the sun. Planktons typically live in this area. The third layer is profundal or deep water or aphotic zone. This is the deep area of ponds or lakes. Profundal zone is much denser and colder due to pressures or weights of the above water layers of the lakes or ponds. This zone again receives less light that means less light is able to reach in this zone since it is deep and distant from the top profundal zone is mostly occupied by heterotrophic fauna due to less penetration of light streams and rivers streams and rivers are bodies of flowing water that are always in move in one direction these streams and rivers found everywhere in the world. Rivers and streams begin areas like spring, snowmelts, and even lakes, since these three main sites are sources of rivers and streams. The characteristics of streams and rivers change throughout their journey from the source to the main body of the water. At the sources of rivers and streams, water temperature is typically cooler and the water is clear and has high oxygen levels. Rivers and streams mostly contain freshwater fishes. And when we see the weeds, the weeds is narrow at the beginning or at the source. At the middle of the river, the weeds and species diversity becomes high. Near the main body, or mouth of the river, the water generally becomes milky since it gathers high amount of mineral substances throughout its journey. Light penetration and diversity of species becomes low. Low light penetration is because of 
is because of milky appearances of the water due to high accumulation of mineral substances that are gathered through water's journey. Due to low light penetration, species diversity becomes so low at the mouth of the river. Wetlands are areas of standing water that support aquatic plants. Wetlands include swamps, marshes, and bogs. Wetlands in tropical rainforests have the highest species diversity of all ecosystems. Animals that are found in this area include many amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. But not all wetlands are fresh water biomes because some are marines that contain salty 